Good evening, Gaurav. Is my voice is audible and screen is visible? Yeah. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Gaurav. Thank you so much. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Great. Uh, we're going to start the session very soon. Just stay connected. Let Sadhu to join the session as well. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Hi, good evening. May I know the name of the person who's using Vivo Mobile? Sir, my name is Kapil, sir. Okay, Kapil. Thank you so much. I will just rename your ID. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. We're going to start the session very soon, Kapil. Just stay connected, okay? Okay. Let's other to join the class as well. Thanks. Okay. Sir. All right, uh, Gaurav and Kapil, we're going to start the session now. Yeah. First of all, welcome to Win Your English, both of you. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Kapil, is, is my voice is audible? Kapil, you there? All right. So we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts in our team and our all trainer would be IDP certified. So you're going to get the training from certified trainers only those who know the in-depth requirements of IDP standards and how to get more bands. We have specialization in A777 and 7 plus in academic. Uh, I would request both of you kindly attend this session till till the end, it would take approximately 40 minutes. Initially, 10, 5, five 10 minutes, we will, I will describe how our system would work and what you're going to get. After that, we will discuss the writing task too in detail. And if you guys would have any question in between, you can ask me anytime. I want this session to be very interactive, All right? Sure. Thank you. So we, you're going to get 40 plus hour of live training. First, you're going to get training from PhD trainer. Second, every day there would be one and a half hour class. Two module will be discussed in detail, in depth during the live class. For two other modules, we will provide you an assignment and we will you will get the exact feedback for that as well. 
you're going to get 60 plus updated recording. That means we're going to provide you an application just like YouTube in which you can review your own classes. For an example, if you're going to attend session today, you can review it by tomorrow. So every day your session is going to record it into our software, which ultimately will enumerate into your mobile application. 160 plus practice test you're going to get in the resource account. We're going to provide you one resource account apart from the classroom training. You're going to get an account for practice, self-practice. You can log in into the account anytime. You can do reading, listening, writings over there. And the entire material will be based on the IELTS only. Exact listening will be there as you're going to face in the real IELTS exam. All instructions will be same. Everything will remain same. We will provide you two dedicated mobile app. One is for resource account. If you don't have laptop, still you will be able to attempt entire material on your mobile. Second mobile app, we're going to provide you for the recording sessions. And you will you can see the previous 80 plus recording sessions, I would say, from different trainers. Every day you're going to get an assignment. So I will let you know this in upcoming slides five full length mock tests that means in the package in one month package in your resource account you will see five mock tests over there full length means it would have reading listening writing as you're going to face in the real IELTS exam one mock test you have you can attempt you have to attempt it in three hours it would take approximately two and a half to three hours just like real IELTS exam every saturday we do one mock test and we check your level this is the resource account yes this is the resource account which we will provide you free of cost in the package and i'm going to show you this lively is this visible to all of you to both of you yeah. Aman? okay and what about couple couple you are not responding is it visible to you as well kindly unmute yourself if you dare all right, that's fine. So you're going to get this kind of account. You will see our logo over here. It says Vineyard English, your name will be here. And uh, once you click on online test, you would see there would be five mock tests. Okay, sir. All right, Kapil, it's fine now. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. So you will see five mock tests. Every Saturday we do one mock test and we will check your level every Saturday. Once you click on academic readings, if you're a student of academic, you will you will be able to see and attempt the journal training material. If you if you are a student of journal training, you will be able to attempt academic material as well, vice okay. versa. So if you click on academic readings, there will be five section, every section further will have five reading in it. 40 minutes, 60 questions. So all instructions would be there, the similar as you're going to face in the real IELTS exam, everything remains same, uh, focus to the IELTS only. So five into five, you will have 25 readings over here. If you click on listening, again, five section will be there. Every section further will have five listening, 40 question, 45 minutes. Once you will attempt any section, it will turn to yellow. And once you click on the yellow section, you can do your own self analysis over there as well. Once you will attempt any test, you will see your band score over there. You will be able to see your all question answers over there. There will be one to 40 questions. So you will be able to see the right, correct answer. If you want to listen your uh, question, you can listen it. So you can review all the answers over here. So it's for the self analysis. Then if you click on the writing part, you will see another five section over there. Every section further will have five writing tasks over there. It says two question writing task one and two, 60 minutes would be there. So you're going to have almost uh, 50, 50 tasks over here. Similarly, in the journal training, you will see journal mock test. You will see journal re readings, listenings and writings. So this is the account which we're going to provide you in the package. Coming back to presentation. Guys, those who just join, 
you didn't miss much aarti mohammad is my voice is audible and screen is visible aarti and mohammad yes it is i can thank hear you. you thank you thank you i'll quickly revise little bit as i i just covered these things quickly we are the first center in india having phd english experts and our all experts you are all trainer would be idb certified you going to get one and half hour live training every day two module will be covered in the class two will be two modules assignment will be given to you we going to provide you one mobile application which i am going to show you in just minute in which you can review your own sessions previous sessions as well as your own sessions practice test account i just showed you this one and uh, you going to get assignment every day so this account is clear to all of you guys practice test account any question related to this account gorab kapil arti no i'm gone okay i'm gone no sir okay all right arti is is it audible to you you didn't respond actually all right uh definitely arti will come to the fees apart just uh let me uh, cover the things all right so this is the mobile application we going to provide you once you go to our website www.vineyardenglish.com in the download section you you can see this mobile application so once you will download it we will allot you a license key with the help of this you can review your all recorded sessions and previous sessions as well covered by other trainers so our online ielts structure work like this every saturday there would be a diagnostic mock test where we check your level our experts will analyze your mock test and they will check what is your current level and what you want to achieve so we will make we will build journey according to your requirement every start class will start with tips and training 5 10 minutes then the content will be delivered and it would be ended at an assignment we going to add you in a secured whatsapp group 8 to 10 students will be there sometime less than 8 student will be there we don't entertain non sincere students so you will find uh, very focused groups your group will be very focused none of the person will disturb to anyone your trainer will be there so you going to get all the assignment feedback and task in the group for an example if you get a writing task to assignment you just need to write down on your notepad share the picture of your task in the group and once you will share it your expert will review it and mark it as per idp and bc standards and provide you feedback in the same whatsapp group sometime we will give you assignment in your resource account this is the journey from first week till fourth week monday we do listening and speaking listening will be exact same that you going to face in the real ielts exam speaking will be very focused one to one reading and listening assignment will be given from your resource account tuesday we do writing task 2 writing task 2 will be discussed in detail it wouldn't be like uh, we will ask you to write down a task no the trainer will let you know how to write down creatively how to write down introduction body paragraph and conclusion everything in detail you can resolve your queries as well you can ask as many as question over there speaking task will be discussed in detail then there would be assignment part similarly wednesday writing task 1 speaking and then assignment thursday reading speaking reading writing will be assignment friday listening speaking so basically we focus on all the four modules so that uh, because some of the companies in india they providing just one hour class on one module and it's not possible to crack the ielts with higher bands if you do just one uh, module practice so you need to focus on all the modules just in case if you have special requirements like you are weak in writing section we can provide you a separate assignment every day on writing reading or any module you you want to on saturday we do mock test that would be of four modules and your level will be checked every week we we will analyze where you stand and how much progress you have made on sunday we share blog study material video tips and content as well which would help you to enhance your level of understanding in the ielts last week we shared 500 high vocabulary words type of sentences etc 
Now we're going to discuss the writing task two in detail. Until this point, any doubt, Gaurav, Kapil, Arti, Muhammad? No, sir. No, no. Oh, everything is okay. Thank you. What about Arti and Muhammad? Yeah, all is clear. Okay. Arti, everything. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you guys have any question, you can ask me any time. So basically. in ielts writing task 2 there are four pillars four parameters on which your band score is going to be calculated task achievement and response coherence and cohesion lexical resource and grammatical range and accuracy every section would have equal bands from 0 to 9 if you get seven band in task achievement and response six in coherence cohesion eight in lexical resource and seven in grammatical range and accuracy the average of these four will be your band score now what is task achievement and response task achievement and response implies how you going to attempt your writing task 2 how you whether you going to cover all the sections of the given question or not whether you going to write down all the parameter of the solution or not for an example as a law and introduction has three parts background information or general comment plus paraphrase this topic plus thesis statement if you miss any of these three you won't get the 100% uh, bands of task achievement and response similarly coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage between lines as well as paragraph an ideal writing task to must be linked properly and it should be linked from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion lexical resource means what the type of vocabulary that you going to use it has been seen that many student just use high vocabulary words even they are not sure of the, the vocabulary word which ultimately alter the meaning of entire passage or the line and they end up with 5 or 5.5 bands grammatical range and accuracy means what type of sentence structure you going to use whether you going to write down simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence complex compound sentence or you going to write down it in passive voice or uh, what is the accuracy i mean accuracy should be 100% 100% like accuracy of your sentence structure your words vocabulary and everything so these four parameters are very very important to understand in order to get higher bands in writing task 2 any of these type of essay would come in the real ielts exam opinionating essay would be there where the examiner will ask your opinion advantage disadvantage type of essays would be there discussion essays will be there where the examiner will ask you discuss both points and cite your own opinion in that case you need to write down three paragraphs you need to discuss one discussion number 1 in one second in second and in third paragraph you need to cite your own opinion then solution essays would be there where the problem will be given by the a uh, examiner and you need to pose some solutions direct question essays will be there this is the high band structure guys if you follow this simpler structure you will definitely get more than seven bands introduction alone has three parts if you miss any of these parts you will not get all the required bands of task achievement and response just an uh, introduction has three parts that is background information or journal comment paraphrase the topic thesis statement what is background information background information implies when you talk something about the topic in the past for an example in yester years or previous years people used to wear simple clothes but due to the advent of modernization and globalization masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing purane samay mein log simple clothes simple kapde pehante the with the advent of modernization and globalization masses now masses is the synonym of people we cannot use people people again so we need to use synonyms in the entire writing we will not repeat any word masses 
tend to use sophisticated clouds. So this is the background information which we started in the past and pr bring it to the present situation. Now, sometime it background information doesn't come to our mind. In that scenario, we can write down the journal comment. Now, what is journal comment? Nowadays, people tend to wear sophisticated clouds owing to globalization and modernization. So this is a journal comment. Plus, paraphrase the topic. Paraphrase is an art actually. What is paraphrase? You need to convert the exact question into your own word, into your own words. So you cannot write down the exact question wording into your introduction. Some people believe that, other opine that. This is the art of paraphrasing. We, we teach all our students during class how to paraphrase. Plus, thesis statement. Thesis statement basically is a great indicator to the reader that what we're going to write down in further body paragraph. I am going to discuss this view in subsequent paragraph. So with this statement only, the reader or the examiner will come to know what we're going to write down in body paragraph. Secondly, this links the introduction with the body paragraph. So this is very important. If we miss any of these, we will not get the desired bands of task achievement. Just give me one second, guys. All right, uh, Arti ma'am, I just read your uh, question in the chat box. Uh, the fee structure, I will definitely discuss at the end. Let me complete it. So, as I said, thesis statement links the introduction with the body paragraph. Now, what we need to do in body paragraph, basically, it has been seen that students just write down five, six, seven point in just one body paragraph and they end up with 5.5 or 5 band. Then they complain the IDP or BC evaluation system that they have faulty system or faulty evaluation system. No guys, they have perfect system, but we need to understand their demand. We don't need five, six, seven points to write down in one body paragraph. We just need one body pair one point elaborate it well support it with example that's it your one body paragraph is ready so basically in ideal writing task two you need two to three maximum three points when you get the question in the real exam you need to write down five six point on your question sheet on your question sheet select two to three solid points convert those point into paragraph that's it. It's the very simple thing. I will show you this how to do in upcoming slides. Conclusion. In conclusion, we need to write down the gist of the essay, crux of the essay, plus we need to rephrase our opinion. What we have written in the introduction, we can rephrase it. Plus, you can also post some solution, suggestion, uh, threat, danger, as well in the conclusion the entire writing task 2 should not be less than 250 word if it would be 249 word then you will be penalized for sure and it should not increase 300 words otherwise there would be grammatical errors so ideal range should be 260 to 280 words in our all classes guys we do brainstorming on regular basis see we have done intensive research or even we continuously you know we doing research on IELTS and its pattern the major problem students are facing these days they feel lack of ideas they find themselves blank in the real IELTS exam they find I mean they run out of ideas so what we have integrated we have integrated brainstorming sessions in our classes 
so once you will practice brainstorming in our classes you will not run out of ideas you will have plenty of ideas over there so every day we do brainstorming sessions now we will do the brainstorming session as well i would appreciate if you will participate those who don't want to participate don't leave the class just observe the class and uh, stay there till the end but if you will participate i will really appreciate it in some countries this is a question which came into the real ielts exam in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past as people are migrating to abroad students are migrating to abroad so they are living alone over there do you think this is a positive or negative development so here the question comes to us examiner is asking us do you think this is a positive or negative development now we can attempt this kind of this type of question in three ways we can write down positive positive about the topic or we can write down negative negative about the topic or we can balance the statement it has more positive consequences than the negative ones it has more positive consequences than a few uh, negative consequences so in the brainstorming session we will discuss what are the advantages of living alone first i would like you to contribute all of you tell me the advantages of living alone i will write it down here okay gaurav start with you what are the advantages will, of living alone you will be more responsible as comparative very good one will become more responsible for sake uh, guys uh, kindly unmute yourself and uh, tell me in the chat uh, in the mic instead of writing down in the chat box uh okay arti you are on the office call all right i will share you the arti i will share you the recording of this session just drop me the message where you got the link of this um class just drop me the message over there i will share the link of this class if you would leave it okay all right who's next the next point next point guys all right gaurav mohammad kapil i think you will have more chance to explore thing uh, like exposure if you more exposure to... very good more exposure will be there so one will learn more skills Yep. such as cleaning cooking paying the bills utility bills buying grocery so one will acquire new skills as see imagine yourself if you living abroad you are a student over there none of the family would be there and what would be the advantages so you will live uh, alone but i think that would also be covered in the first point if you are already a responsible that can leads to like you already cover all those responsibilities right see responsibilities and skills both are different things so one will learn new skills such as cooking okay right skills and responsibilities responsibilities <coughs> you know it it's a different term than the skills so skills means uh, you come to know how to manage your finance how to manage your budget how to pay you know bills how to clean your house how to you know cook your food such i mean these are the skills right that you're going mm -hmm. to learn another point advantages of living alone kapil mohammad gaurav so more responsibility will uh, one will become more responsible more exposure would be there one will learn new skills so there would be no interruption more freedom more, more freedom 
yeah more focused more focused one can pursue a new hobby such as gardening playing tennis swimming so one will have plenty of time and can spare his time his or her time to the focused hobby or activity so no one would be there to disturb so one doesn't so one doesn't so one uh, or it would be like something no interruption yeah no interruption would be there plus one has uh, don't have to uh, doesn't have to pay the expenses of other right so mm. one will pay his or her own expenses only one doesn't have to bear family expenses right no family burden no, family uh, burden. no more yep. no more extra responsibilities yep very good point no family burden no extra responsibilities good points guys mohammed mm. yes sir any point you have covered pretty much so okay you have covered pretty much all right all right now tell me the disadvantages of living alone guys what is the first and the biggest disadvantage of living alone help help of your other you know your family member so no okay. help there will yeah. be no support lack no of support. family lack of help. support yeah lack of family support no. another point homesickness definitely yeah loneliness imagine if you living alone as a student in canada or australia <clears throat> somehow you will feel homesickness loneliness uh, some may fall into depression due to this some may fall into depression and further they can indulge into crime drugs because no one will be there to stop there to guide guide yeah <clears throat> basic ethics uh, values lack of problems. yes lack yes. of lack of basic values because elders won't be there somehow lack of basic uh, values <clears throat> or family values right family values no social involvement yes less family social involvement. uh you can have okay. social involvement you can you yeah. know meet with friends or neighbors but less family, family interaction yeah. yeah and it could be the one of the advantages as well you can do more networking and you know meet new friends or something like that Mm, yeah that you can that you can write down in uh, you know yeah, more yeah. freedom right more nobody problem. would nobody would be there to stop you you can ask your friends to stay at your home you can do party socializing lots of activities right yeah yeah so one big disadvantage more big uh, disadvantage is no one will be there in case of emergency to help <clears throat> it wouldn't come in the support family support yeah lack of family support that we write it down at the first point yeah so this point also can cover that point right so if you need the help in emergency so someone is there already to help you from your family yeah it? exactly you can cover in this point as well exactly so one more point one has to bear all the expenses alone right mm. yeah true all right guys so these are the points basically we do these kind of activities during our classes so it would help you to enhance your imagination pattern it will help you to generate content because content is the key 
if you would have good content in the real IELTS exam, you would score more than seven bands. Recently, one of our students, Shobit Singh, he, he just, he write it down the very good uh, review for us on the Google. He got nine in listening, 8.5 in uh, reading and seven, seven in other modules. Uh, he worked this intensively during classes as well on the brainstorming session. He used to participate a lot. So if you would participate, definitely it would benefit you ultimately, right? Thank you so much. So basically why I did, so you will get to know what we do in the classes. So this is the nine band solution, which we're going to discuss on based of this assay structure. We're going to use this as a structure to solve this or to write the answer. Now we'll, we will discuss it. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. These days, many people choose to live alone, especially in metropolitan areas. And this rate is far higher in developed countries and seems like this has become quite normal there. So in this sentence, basically, we write it down the journal comment plus paraphrase the statement together. We can do that. Now it's asking, do you think this is a positive or negative development? Now we need to answer this question in the introduction. I believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers. So here we stated that it has more positive than a few negative ones. That means it has a negative side too. See, if we touch both sides, we will have plenty of stuff to cover. If we touch only one side, we somehow lack in the content. Let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion. So this is going to be the thesis line. So examiner will get to know what we're going to write down in further body paragraph. In body paragraph one, what we need to do, we need to write down one point we need to elaborate it well. We need to cite an example. That's it. The single person family, the one who is living alone, we synonym, this, we converted it into the single person family is seen to be positive from better personal skill development and economical perspective. So we write down basically two points in single point. Do cheezon se ye better hai personal skill development say or economical perspective say this is good how kaise hai kyun hai that we're going to discuss now so one point elaborate it well so we're going to elaborate now a single member family so as i said no repetition single person family so single member family forces a person to learn some basic skills including cooking cleaning the house, paying the utility bills, managing personal finance, purchasing daily commodities, adopting hobbies, and many more important skills. This makes someone self-dependent, which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense. In a broader sense means if one is self-dependent, he or she would earn something. Ultimately, he or she would pay taxes, which ultimately benefits the entire economy. For instance, now we elaborated from this point to this point. Now we give the example to support our main idea. For instance, research shows that students who stay away from home for their tertiary degrees or higher education learn more skills and become more self-dependent than pupil who stay from home. So here we use pupil because we cannot use student student again. So those who live far from home develop many skills and become self dependent. Additionally, a single person family member is bound to do a job business or have some sort of arrangement for a steady earning. And this trend has a great positive impact on the country's economy. Now we clarified our second perspective in the first point that is economical economical perspective. So basically what we did, we supported and elaborated our main idea. Jo humne likha hai, humne usko elaborate kiya from this point till this, we again reinforced or reinstate our point with the example. 
See, in example, you don't need to write down so much stuff in order to write down example. You can make your own example. You can build the example. Examiner is not going to check whether it's factitious or true. He or she is going to check whether it's supporting the main idea or not. That's it. Now, in the second body paragraph, similar thing we will do. We will write down one point, elaborate it well, cite an example. That's it. From the opposite viewpoint, as we have touched both point in the introduction, it has many positive than a few negative ones. So in the second body paragraph, we'll talk about negatives. From the opposite viewpoint, the trend of increasing single person family has a few negative consequences as well. That we're going to discuss now. The increasing trend of living alone has a direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days. Those who live alone, they become or they suffer more psychological problems. Living alone creates loneliness and depression. Unlike the traditional family settings where there are always others to share someone's distress or depression or sadness. The isolation, isolation is the synonym of loneliness, often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative. For example, earlier we used for instance, here we use for examples. A recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted. The human is a social being and living alone is against the natural tendency. For many, bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved into crime such as snatching, robbery, etc. So in the Second body paragraph, what we did, we just write down one point. We elaborate it from this point till this point. We supported it with example. We reinstate our point. This is the art which basically fetches higher bands. In the conclusion, first line of the conclusion is an indicator to the reader. Now he or she is going to sum up the entire passage to encapsulate to sum up at the end such words are going to be used the number of single person family is increased see now we're going to rephrase this the number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era and this has omnifarious omnifarious is the synonym of various this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences so we rephrase our opinion which we covered in the introduction we rephrased it in the simplest way hence one can imbibe to get multifarious multifarious is another synonym of omnifarious or various one can get various important skills of life if he or she choose to live alone so this is the simplest way which we write it down using this methodology so if you use this method, you will definitely get more than seven bands. Now, any question I can answer if uh, Kapil, Gaurav, Mr. Muhammad. I'm good. Okay. Any question, Kapil, Muhammad? Sir, uh, the, the connectors are important such as to begin with on the other hand or without connector essay is also good. See, sir, no, connector should be there. See, okay, so. uh, as we used additionally, furthermore, mm -hmm. like from the opposite viewpoint, uh, see, we use from the opposite viewpoint. Basically, it connects the first body paragraph yes, with sir. the second. Yes, sir. Right. In so, body paragraph. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In body paragraph one, sir. Yes. Connectivity. Uh, see, if you will not use connector, you won't get the bands, full bands of coherence and cohesion. In okay. order to get nine bands of coherence cohesion, you need to use connectors. Okay. See, you can handle one type of essay in various ways. You can write down just like firstly, secondly, thirdly, yes, additionally, sir. right? Or first, second, third. You can use that order as well. So yes, it's entirely depends upon your, you know, mental structure, how you visualize things. Every person having a different, uh, you know, every person have a different perspective, has a different yes. perspective. So one essay you can write down 
in thousand ways. Right? Yes. But the methodology is same. If you use one point in one body paragraph, elaborate it well, support it with example, this is the basic requirement to get higher bands. The more you will write down in a simple way, the structural way, the more bands you will get. Yeah. Hope I answered your question, Kapil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, explain also background information, sir. Okay. Background information basically is the information which tells something about the topic. Jo ki pass se lekar present tak define karta hai koi aisa sentence that is a background information. Jaise human came into in this existence like agar insaan ke baare mein kuch likhna hai to since the human came into an existent you know it yeah you got it right something we need to write down from the past till the present that is the background information uske baare mein kuch bata raha ho otherwise you can just write down the journal comment agar kuch bhi dimag mein nahi aaya to journal to hum kuch bhi likh sakte hain bilkul okay any other question? No, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Gaurav, do you have any question? No, as of now. Okay. And Muhammad? No. All right. We will do one speaking activity. After that, we will wind up the class. So basically speaking in IELTS speaking, the entire uh, you know, test would be from 11 to 14 minutes and it would have three sections. First section, there would be journal question. The question will be of generic in nature. The examiner will ask you, uh, tell me something about your hobbies, your past studies, and tell me something about your you know, family or town, just like that, general questions. In the speaking round two, he or she will provide you a cue card just like this. You will be, you, you will be given only one minute to prepare for this, and you need to speak minimum for two minutes. You don't need to stop before two minutes. Even I would say speak until the examiner will stop you. But the point here is how to get bands, how to secure bands in just two minutes and how to prepare for the topic. In our classes, we practice, we make our student practice to prepare the topic in one minute. We help them to build the spider diagram. Spider diagram basically is the diagram in which we, you just need to write down points, not lines, so that you can build the points, build the lines by, while using the points, right? So what is the gist here? Quickly, you need to introduce the topic in one or two lines. Then quickly, you need to cover these bullet points. As it says, describe the best gift present you received. What is the gift? Who sent it to you? When did you receive it? and explain why it has the best gift present you received ever. So you can say, and I have, uh, I have received many gifts from my friends and family, but uh, last week I got a new bicycle and it was my birthday and my parents gifted it to me. And it was a wonderful moment when I saw this bicycle because since long I have been desiring uh, to have this kind of bicycle. And it's the best gift I ever received. And uh, uh, it was my dream bike. And uh, I was flabber, flabbergasted when I received it. So basically, you have to cover all the information points. After that, you can use connectors. Additionally, I would like to say that it has sophisticated features. It is a high-tech bike. It has... Uh, uh, the modern technology has been used to building this uh, bike. It has, you know, some kind of algorithm. It has, uh, you know, technical screen, just like that. So basically you need to secure your bands in just one and a half minute. For an example, if examiner would ask you, see, you have to use the power of imagination. We work on the psychological pattern as well how you can use the power of imagination. You can add up those points as well, which are not even existed. If examiner would ask you for an example, like if examiner would ask me to describe your hometown, if I live in a small village, 
uh, I can describe Michigan, I can describe Toronto, I can describe Melbourne and just name my town or city. For an example, I would say I live at Ludhiana. It is situated in the mid of hills and we have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit every evening. We have multifarious shopping plaza in our city. We have world's renowned university in our city. We have world's oldest church situated in our city where people around the globe visit every year. And we have a wonderful fall, waterfall on the northern side and we have perfect infrastructure just like this. Chahe wo cheeze hain, chahe nahi hain. Examiner is not going to check the facts. He or she is going to check your fluency, your sentence structure, whether you're going to cover the topic or not, whether you make the conversation interesting or not. You got my point? Yes, sir. Yes. So we need to make the conversation interesting in order to get more than seven bands. Otherwise, wo 6, 6.5 lena koi badi baat nahi hai. Wo normal si performance aa jata. In order to deliver an extraordinary performance, you need to use the power of imagination. So we are all student practice this skill during our classes. Humne wo cheezein bhi add kar deni hai jo nahi hai. Examiner is not going to check whether waterfall is there or not. He or she is going to check your sentence structure and how you make the conversation more relevant. Now, I will give you two minutes to prepare for this topic. I would appreciate you if you attempt it because I will give you feedback, a valued feedback for you. Right? I'll give you two minutes. Just introduce this topic in one or two lines, <coughs> quickly cover these bullet points and then conclude the topic. That's it. Today we will do this activity. All of you three kindly prepare jaise bhi aap deliver kar sakte hain kijiye i just need to check and i will provide you a valued feedback on it so time starts now i'll give you 2 minutes All right, those the one who is prepared can speak, can start. Hello, yes, please. Can I start, sir? Yes, please. So, well, sir, gift plays an important role in humans' life because the uh, gift uh, somehow brings uh, people connect, uh, uh, together, and gift also is a symbol of love. In my life, I have received so many gifts, but uh, today I want to talk about a gift which uh, uh, was sent by my brother, and uh, it the gift was a book. So, I give. I received this gift uh, one year back. It was on my birthday when I was 24 years. So my brother sent me a gift because he knows me and uh, he knows my taste about reading books. So he sent me a motivational book. The book name is You Can Win. The writer of this book is Shiv Kira. When I read about the book, it uh, it gave me a lot of impetus. And after that, uh, I broadened my horizon. And still, I do have the same book there in my cupboard. Once I feel depressed, so I go through the book. The book plays two important things. The first, it uh, makes me remember about my brother, brothers because he is very close to me. And even though he is younger to me, he sent me as a gift. And then on the top of it, in this materialistic era, we all get uh, anxiety, stress, and something like this. Once I find I am going through this stress or depression, so I read the book, and when I read this book, I get uh, new energy to work for the future. That's also great, Kapil. Wonderfully covered. You covered all the bullet points, and uh, your conversation was interesting and relevant as well. Perfectly done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great, great attempt. All right, next, Gaurav. Can you 
यस प्लीज काइंडली अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ यस गौरव Okay, okay. gift is something that keeps you in touch with your loved ones. I got a lot of gifts from my family, friends, and loved ones. One of the best gift I have ever received is a track package to Manali that is called as a Brigu Lake. This gift was given by one of my childhood friend because he knows that I am very fond of tracks and trekking. So that was a track started from the Manali to Brigu Lake. it was around 27 km one sided track it was something you that keeps you in touch with the you know nature and the beauty where you can ever or uh, you can live the moment that you ever miss in your daily life that keeps you in touch with your inside or the deeper one that you even want to live and that package and that gift was received in the last year that was like i was in the struggle of days that i was messed up with the work and all that stuff so this keeps me motivated and i was very thankful to the person that who you know gifted me that special gift and that's all yeah great gaurav good attempt sentence structure was uh, good and the yeah, you covered all the bullet points so this is the strategy which you you both attempted very well good attempt very good thank, thank you. you yeah all right mohammed kindly unmute yourself yeah so yes my friends and my family knows i am very close to the tech technology i am following it and they also know that i am living alone i am living very far from the you know from the city so they presented me and they gave me the e scooter for to my commuting from my place to my work and for my studies so it helped me a lot and i with that i was able to save the money of trans transportation like to use a public buses or to take a taxi it was very helped me and i received that uh, when they came to know that i am sometime i used to walk and sometime i used to you know wait for the bus and train in the rain everything so they um they knew that i am facing this problem that's why they gifted me that e scooter that helped me a lot and for traveling yeah, around the city and for my work and studies right uh, good attempt mohammed and uh, you just uh, missed one point when did you receive it right did you yeah, cover Yeah, I said like uh, in in my when they came to know that I am facing this problem, so they gave me like I didn't mention that exactly. <laughs> yes, actually, day. you need to yeah. specify last year or uh, you know some last yeah. month or yeah. you know, yeah. just like that. That's that's fine completely. You covered it perfectly well. Uh, so we need to cover these bullet points, and uh, you all guys attempted it very well, and uh, rest all fine. Your sentence sentence structure was good. as you covered in the past everything was fine uh thank you so much all of you and uh, we definitely work on the you know imagination pattern to generate more content during the classes and uh, those who wish to join uh, our new batches are going to start in general as well as academic uh, domain uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow some some of the new batches are going to be introduced so just drop me the message on the whatsapp i'll get back to you guys if there is any question i'm here to answer kindly let me know gaurav kapil mohammed okay the same number i got from uh, can we inform dr for that yes yes sir yeah definitely okay. right so i don't yeah, know. can i sorry uh, i'm yeah, just please. yeah i can share the number in the chat yeah, box where where actually you got the message that is the number where to be very honest i missed that link as well where i got this you know information so it will be good if you can share the phone number or sure sir sure 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 it's let me write it all right Here is the number seven nine seven three one 
60270. You can write down here is the email as well. Office at vineyardenglish.com. You can see the number on the website as well. vineyardenglish.com. Right, guys. Any question? Go ahead. No, I'm good. All right. Thank you so much for spending your precious time, and uh, hope to see you in the classes, all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for Take that care. precious lecture. Take care. Have a good. Thank you. Bye bye. Good evening. Bye -bye. Good night, all of you. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.